want to thank everyone for coming out to Rose Commons Park. And I want to thank the Highlands of Seminole Neighborhood Association for donating all of the trees that we are going to plant here today. Uh, they wanted more trees in their park and they wanted a, a more bird habitat. And so we, over the last couple of years, we've been talking about how to do that. And uh, the neighborhood uh, was, was gracious enough to, to raise the money and pay for the trees. And uh, we made a planting plan last year. And last winter, I ordered the trees. And this spring, here we are. Uh, hopefully in the first of a couple different tree planting events we're going to have here in the park. So thank you very much to Linda and the other board members for having the, the leadership to do that. We really appreciate that. Um, and thanks to everyone else who's coming out here to plant trees. We have a variety of native trees that we're planting today. We're also doing two shrub beds and the shrub beds need a lot of mulch. So we're, that's why I have three wheelbarrows uh, and a quite a bit of mulch to put, put around the shrubs. So um, what we're gonna be doing to start with is gore those planting holes so the tree roots can really get, get into, the, into the earth. Often when we drill these holes with an auger, it gets, it's, it gets a little heated and glazed. So the clay melts a little bit and it gets really glazed. It's really hard for the roots to penetrate that. So if we score the hole, we kind of break up that um, film of like of heated clay that's on the, on the edge of the hole. And then we could kind of wiggle either the trees or shrubs out of their containers and then really take those root balls and get them all, uh, get, the, get the roots loose, which it seems like you're abusing the tree, but you're really not. You're kind of helping that tree get, break, and you'll end up breaking some roots and that's fine. And I can kind of show you how to do it. We want those roots kind of loose when we put them in the hole and then we backfill and then we put in mulch. 